furloughed government workers will be back on the job Monday. Last night, President Trump signed a bill ending the country's longest government shutdown. While many are elated the shutdown is over, our Walter Smith Randolph shows us that some workers are still very worried. 3,000 IRS employees across the tri-state will return to work on Monday. Many of them will report here to the IRS Service Center in Covington. While it's some relief, it's only temporary because a new government funding plan only lasts three weeks. I'm glad to be going back to work. I was like bored out of my mind. So, and I'm going back with pay. Pam Sprinlin is elated but nervous. The 20-year IRS veteran says the past 35 days have been difficult. Missed two paychecks. I was worried. Uh, a, lot, a lot of my coworkers had it a lot worse than I did. Pam was one of the lucky few who could receive unemployment benefits, but now she has to pay it back and catch up on all the bills she's behind on. Still, she's grateful. It's the kindness of strangers that have helped her get by. It was nice. It was nice to see that, that people really were stepping up. And I'll tell you, I was really glad to see the businesses that was helping the ones that had to work without pay. You know, to be able to go out and get lunch. You know, that people don't think about that. But the worry for Pam and her co-workers is not over. The newest government funding measure keeps the government running until February 15th. Yeah, I'm, I'm really worried because if I'm considered essential after that, then how am I going to get to work? How am I going to get to work and then no unemployment to pay anything? Pam is hoping lawmakers compromise over the next three weeks, not only to keep the government running, but to also unify the country. I don't think it's about what they're fighting about. I think it's about how we're standing together. And I think we failed. I think some of us have failed to stand together. And I think that's sad. In Covington, Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News.